Yeah. Definitely. And can I just say, I am a fan. So thank you so much for coming in, Alex. Thanks. Thanks for having me. <laughs> no problem. So one thing that I wanted to point out before we get into exactly the Honold Foundation, your new nonprofit, is you have just quite the history of climbing and have made quite a name for yourself. But a lot of people may not know, you're from here. Yep, I'm from Carmichael. All right, so, and you are how old? I'm 28. 28, and you have just been climbing ever since you were very, since very like young. 10 or so. Yep. Okay, yep. so a lot of people may not know that you have been everywhere, pretty much, because of your climbing. Yep. So, favorite places that you like to climb? Uh, I mean, some of the best climbing is probably Europe, like in Spain, and mm -hmm. I really like Morocco. But, um, but I kind of prefer the more far-flung expeditions, because you see, like, crazier parts of the world. Okay. But, yeah, so... Cool. I'm assuming with your climbing taking you everywhere, that's kind of where this love of wanting to help others really came from. Yeah, for sure. I mean, the more I've traveled, the more aware I am about conditions in the rest of the world, and the mm -hmm. more I've sort of realized how lucky I am and how how lucky my life has been. Mm -hmm. And um, and basically, you know, I don't really have many needs, and so I've, now that I have some some degree of success, I feel like I have to you know give back a little bit. Awesome. But. And talk to me about the Honold Foundation. Um, I mean, it's very much a work in progress at this point, but, um, but basically over the last year, you know, like I'm saying, like, I don't really have any needs, and I've suddenly started making more than I need, mm -hmm. and so, um, you know, I've just wanted an opportunity to give a lot of that away, and, uh, and the Honol Foundation is sort of a way to hopefully do that in such a way to inspire others to, to do the same. Excellent. You know? And so one of the videos that we're playing right now, this is Solar Aid, and it's one of the other sort of projects and nonprofits that you guys are helping out. So what does this project do? So Solar Aid basically... Um, is trying to eliminate the use of kerosene lights in Africa mm -hmm. by replacing them with solar, solar lanterns. Mm -hmm. And um, it's a really interesting model. They sell the they sell the lanterns to the consumers, and so it builds a market for the actual solar lights as well. It's, it's totally win-win. It's like an awesome thing. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and kerosene lights are super bad for health. It improves quality of life for, yeah. the, for the users. And so um, having been to Africa on several different trips, I was just there for six weeks, mm -hmm. and like seeing people living fully off the grid with no access to to you know power to water to anything all the things that we take for granted and so uh you know i mean it's just it's, Had it's to help. yeah i mean for sure Excellent. you have to do something you know. and another one that we we're playing that we we're just playing right now is about um s some solar power here in the central valley yeah. which i thought was really unique to me that's sort of um yeah so it's grid alternatives which mm -hmm. works in the whole central valley and uh to me that's sort of the first world equivalent of, of mm -hmm. solar aid and solar aid is helping people who have no access to anything in full rural Africa. But Grid Alternative is helping people who have like lower access here in the Central Valley. You know, people who, you know, lower income or whatever. But also it's like job creation stuff, the job training. It helps mm -hmm. you know train poor people to install panels. And I mean, it's awesome. it's, it's a very like win-win program. Excellent, yeah. and giving people tools and job skills, and also helping lower our energy consumption, which is always beneficial. Yeah, exactly. Um, so if people want to help out, if they want to help donate, if they just want to get more information, how do they go about doing that? Uh, well, really, I mean, they should just search any any <laughs> nonprofit they're interested in. I mean, yeah. you know, these are just the things that I find particularly compelling. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously, people can donate to the Honol Foundation. That goes directly to these others. Mm -hmm. um, they can search for the organizations themselves. You know, they can search other own Excellent. organizations. You know, I just wanted to help how I could. All know. right. Anyway. Yeah.